Good, good evening, everyone. So we are going to speak about donkeys and specifically donkeys in your garden. Uh, having a donkey can be tricky, having a donkey can be fun, but the most important is to learn about donkeys. So let's go. The first thing we got, I'm going to introduce ourselves. So we are two business partners, John Sebastian and I, and we have the uh, Berry Homestead Farm in Linders. Uh, so we started that four years ago, uh, basically on a corn field, and we decided to go 100% of greed and to develop a sustainable and care farming activity. So we have two main uh, productions, elderberries, and um, we have a flock of 10 donkeys. So we breed donkeys, we educate donkeys, and we give training to people on how to become, um, uh, um, how can I say, um, a donkey professional. Um, I breed donkeys for more than 25 years now, and I learn a lot with them. I made mistakes at the beginning, of course, like everyone, and, but they provide me so many experience uh, that I'm really pleased to, to share with people. So on the farm, you will also find uh, an orchard, uh, vegetables, uh, eggs, of course, we have, and a couple of uh, other animals like uh, hens and chickens and uh, turkeys. So we do produce some uh, artisan products on, on the farm, like preserves, uh, donkey meal soaps, and uh, herbal teas. On the other side, we provide also care farming activities, which is educational farm visit, animal assisted therapy workshops, uh, French immersion days, because as you can hear, English is not my first language, and um, individual and family counseling. I have, I have a background of, uh, as, as an astrologer and uh, in the psychology. And also we provide sharpening services. So donkey can be, and donkeys, first of all, are known to be a mean of transport. So you don't go very fast with a donkey, but it's very secure. You go slowly, but surely. So that's one of the first use of donkeys. And in terms of personal transportation, uh, you can use donkey in different fields. Uh, they Originally, they were used for, um, you know, carrying people on the long distance or carrying uh, supplies on short distance. But also now, nowadays, they can be used in um, horse pony clubs. They can be used uh, as um, just doing trekking with them because they are very safe. Uh, to do cross country, they just love that and they have a lot of fun. And also they can be used for hiking with children. One of the most common use of donkey is linked to farm, to farming, because at the, at the beginning, uh, horses were much more the racing car you have and you were using horses of course, to do some job on the farm too for the big ones, but for the most thin ones, you were going, you know, in visiting uh, families, neighbors in the surrounded cities. As donkeys, they were mostly used for as guardian, and they were mostly used to work on the farm. So a donkey, because of that genetic, because of, of these so many years of working with human, they are very devoted to their job. Donkeys have a very long history with man. Uh, and you can find, for example, in Egypt, some uh, drawings sh uh, showing a donkey working, uh, carrying stuff for people. So it's, it's not something new, of course. 
and the donkey is one of the only animal that exists in all the continents and in every part of the world. Uh, here you can find, you can see some old pictures of uh, England, which is in Cornwall. And this one is from um, Irish people. And this one is from Paris. Uh, so it's all about working with donkeys. So the first one is about the milk delivery. The other one is from harvesting uh, uh, different type of fruits. And in Paris, it's for uh, going to, um, uh, uh, the guy who was working as a, um, a sharpener. Very commonly, donkeys are, are associated to herd, and we used to say that they are very good guardian, which is true, because even a donkey is quite smart and very affectionate, he can be very aggressive. Um, and he will kill very easily uh, a fox, a wolf, um, a coyote, or a raccoon, every animal that tends to attack your, uh, your herds. So they are very effective with sheep, with cows, and uh, even with goats. Uh, but there's a certain way to do it. There's a certain way to introduce them to, to the herd. And it's not because you have a donkey that he will know systematically how to do it. It will depend on the way he has been raised, on the way he has been showed by the flock how to do it. So there are certain criteria to select a donkey for being a guardian. During our workshop, we explained that to people and it's very important. The other thing donkey can do, they can help you on a very, so donkeys nowadays because of the machine we have are not necessarily um, the good thing to have in terms of uh, performance. But if you have a very small scale farm, which is under three acres and you want to grow things and you want to uh, produce some cereals or you want to produce um, fruits or things like that, donkeys are a very good option because in terms of investment and in terms of um, production, they give you a very good ratio in terms of investment and uh, the job they can accomplish. So it is something to think about. And on top of it, you will have a lot of pleasure using your donkey. So it can be as simple as harvesting a little pieces of wood you need for your fireplace in the cottage. Um, it could be for harvesting fruit. And that's uh, why we're using them at, at the farm when we harvest our elderberries. And uh, in the past, they were used to, um, when people were milking the goats and they were milking the cows in the field, donkeys were used to bring back the milk bucket. Uh, they are still, still doing so in some countries when you have, for example, the, the goats in the mountains and things like that, they are still using donkeys to bring back uh, the milk. One over uh, uses of donkey, which is very interesting, is the use of donkey in the greenhouses. Um, to plow in, in greenhouses with donkey, it's amazing because their footprint is very narrow and uh, they, they, they are not, um, they are very quiet animal. They don't panic, they don't, so they don't react if there's a lot of wind and a lot of noise and and they can do a very decent job in greenhouses. So in some countries nowadays, because they realize that they even create schools, uh, which is donkey uh, schools for greenhouses, and they share their experiment for that. In Africa also, they put in place some programs to support agricultural development uh, for feeding people and for, for providing more um, uh, revenue to, to people 
and they are going back with donkeys in the users. Uh, so basically, uh, as we say, they created, for example, the French School of Market Gardening Donkeys, but you have uh, this type of school also in England, and you can find this type of school in Spain too. Um, so we, what happens uh, using donkeys, because they tend to use them in vines, they, they tend to use them in greenhouses, uh, in small acreage farmland, and so a lot of suppliers of agricultural machinery um, developed new equipment to use with donkeys. So that's the link you have right there. So you can take the, the, this advantage and go and visit um, the link. Uh, the good thing also with donkeys, they have very, very hard and very narrow feet. So they can walk on every kind of soil, which is quite interesting. Donkeys with their uh, affectionate temper and with their, they will also help communities and small villages. At the beginning, I would say 20 years ago, people didn't really realize that. But uh, putting in place um, uh, donkey uh, shelters, putting in place um, uh, rescue program for donkeys and re reintroducing donkeys in small villages, they realized that the life of communities starting again, because with donkeys, you can offer a lot of activities for tourism. It's not something new if you see the pictures, carrying people was one of the tasks of the donkey in the past, but it's still now you can do trekking with donkeys or mule. Um, you can do uh, a day in the mountain with children and you can have a donkey and you can hike with a donkey. So it gives you the opportunity to uh, spend time with an animal uh, to share a great activity with your children and it creates basically great memories. Uh, donkeys are very safe with children. They are very dedicated to children and they will do everything they can to protect them. So as you can see in, in that picture, uh, using a donkey is, is quite safe. Uh, in our um, in the States, actually, what became very famous is racing with donkeys. You find now uh, racings, um, races with donkeys all over the United States. Uh, it started, um, you have them in Arizona, you have them in Oregon. It's quite interesting and it's a very popular um, uh, shows, it attracts a lot of tourism. So having donkeys, that's what we, we do at the farm, we do farm visit. Uh, the, the goal of doing farm visit is to make people uh, being more knowledgeable about donkey, uh, but also to reintroduce the donkey in our countryside because they are part of, of family, they are part of agricultural land uh, and the, the goal of that is also to, um, you know, having a donkey is not only you have a donkey and you let your donkey in the field. That's not the way they function. They really need uh, a bond. They really need a relationship with their owners. So doing farm visit, we try to explain all that and provide um, more interaction between human and donkeys. So as you can see, this picture is uh, one little children um, uh, brushing a very newborn baby because actually she was three weeks old. <laughs> uh, so they are very affectionate and you can do visit with donkeys all year long. We do, we do them during the summer and winter, doesn't matter. We also use donkey as a therapy animal because 
uh, a donkey basically we say for a, we say for a donkey they want to know who you are they want to see who you are and a donkey will interact with you on an on an emotional level he will try to uh, create a reaction from your part he will try to uh, provoke um, a sensation so it's very interesting how you can walk the, the, with donkeys. The other thing which is interesting, when you have a wheelchair, a donkey is very accessible because you have different heights in donkeys, but for a standard donkey, it's exactly at the same size of a wheelchair. So it's very easy then. Uh, so you can do therapy with elder people too, uh, with people that are depressed or have anxiety, it will help a lot. For children, it will give a lot of confidence with donkey. It's very important. Uh, well, on the last picture, you can see the guy lying with his donkey. They will do that very easily um, because donkeys are very fond of their owners, but it's not something to do. Uh, it was just an example. The other side of donkeys is, you know, they are donkeys. They are the same breeds uh, as mule and horses. So of course, there's a lot of things you can do with donkeys or you can sail from donkeys. Um, the, the, fa the famous one is donkey skin, uh, which was a fairy tale, but it's not only a fairy tale, it's a real thing because if you, take a look at the donkey sanctuary document um, and thanks to them to share that. Um, you can see that donkey skin is a very flourishing market all over the world. And there's two reasons for that. Uh, the skin of donkey is very uh, resistant. So you can do a bunch of um, uh, bags or whatever with, with the skin, which is very useful. But also under the, um, the skin of the donkey, uh, you, may, you can find a very specific oil which is used for um, Asian medicine. So they are very fond of that. Uh, so in that, in that map, you have all the exports. Uh, in red, that's all the country that, that exports donkey skin. Uh, the export have been confirmed. Um, in blue, it's the country that have banned the exportation of donkey skin. You don't have a lot of these countries, sadly. Um, and the major importers of donkey skin are, of course, uh, the Asian part of the world. Saying that, if you take a look at Australia, it's very bad because they consider to start exporting donkey skin, which is uh, kind of, you know, when you love donkey, you don't want to see that, but it could happen. Uh, with donkeys, you can also use donkey milk. Donkey milk is uh, very, very close to human milk, but the main difference, donkey milk is very stable. It's a non-fat milk, but it's a milk which is full of protein, uh, full of, so it's, it's a milk which is perfectly designed for very sensitive skin. So out of it, you can make soaps, you can make cosmetic products, and that's a huge uh, tendency and they, it's, it's very popular in Europe. And you can drink also donkey milk. Not, we're not used to that, but in some countries, they're gonna drink donkey milk because it, it, it helps in terms of, it boosts your immune system basically. And then you have donkey meat. Donkey meat, so this, the, the first uh, sign that you can see, um, it's donkey meat soup. Uh, it's a picture from Australia. Uh, you can make sausages out of a donkey meat. Donkey meat is very lean. 
And for example, if you buy uh, dry sausages in France, and if it's not returned 100% pork, you will have at least 20% of donkey meat in this in that sausages because it helped the sausages to dry. So that's the same in Italy. They do uh, donkey so sausages. Um, this one is from China. In China, they love, and it's the, the famous, it's not the Whopper, the burger, which is very um, popular. It's the donkey burger. Um, the donkey burger are very popular. Saying that uh, Toronto has also a restaurant specialized in donkey meat. It has been created in 2019. It still exists. The name of the restaurant is Donkey uh, King. Uh, I don't know where they buy their donkey to do that. Maybe it's something we would like to look at, but we begin to that trend of of uh, meat eaters. Donkey poop. Donkey poop can be very useful. Um, the quality of manure is, it's a, it will go perfectly in heavy, cold and wet soil. So basically if you have a clay soil, it works perfectly. And the one of the major advantage of uh, donkey poops or manure, it doesn't develop fungus. Um, so it's something you, you might consider for your gardens. I wanted to thank you all because last year when we did planting by the moon uh, Zoom presentation, um, we trade for flowers. So we planted nearly 150 lilies of the valley. So that's the picture of one of them. And we planted more than that. But the idea was to make, um, to make spots full of flowers for our bees because the bees were coming this year. So they are there now. And uh, we are very pleased with what we did. So if you have any questions, you can uh, contact us through our website or through our Facebook page, and we will answer your question with pleasure. Uh, I just give you a hint of our coming workshops. Uh, they're gonna be the, from June and July. Uh, some of them will be on Zoom. The other one will be uh, in person, if, you can, if we can, because as you know, we are under COVID situation, but hopefully we will be able to, to do a couple of them. So we, we do workshops not only on donkeys, because as the farm is an homestead farm, we, we also do uh, workshops on different topics. Uh, so thank you very much for your attention. I hope you, enjoys, you enjoyed this short presentation and uh, we hope to see you there during the summer, or maybe we will uh, meet you in the on the roads with the donkeys. Thank you. Bye bye.